about a topic I've been pondering over for some time now. And thanks to uh, Miriam's presentation yesterday, I decided to do it this morning. So, before I start, I would like to ask, how many of you know this man? West. Okay, I see some hands up. Yeah. So this is Kanye Omari West, also known as Yi. He's an American entrepreneur, um, rapper, fashion designer, artist, and producer. I don't know, has anyone seen his trilogy documentary on Netflix called Genius? Yeah. yeah. Great. So if you watch this um, documentary, and for the benefit of those who haven't seen it yet, Kanye got his friend to start documenting his journey right from the late 1990s, when he was like an up and coming um, rapper. To be fair, he had kind of like picked into the producing scene, but he was still willing to be on him because like this like, kid from Chicago that no one really knew about. But can you believe that he was going to be a star? And he got his friend to start documenting him way from 1990. So he grew up and became who we all know as he right now. And also watching that documentary, one thing he would realize is that throughout the journey, can you believe in himself? Can you knew that he had what it takes to be a star? He was sent out several times, no one was really paying attention to him, and they all thought he was being a joke. But can you believe who he was? And he never backed down until he became who he wanted to be. Um, I'm going to share a quote from a very popular author known as Norman Vincent Peale, who wrote the book The Power of Positive Thinking. And it says, Believe in yourself, have faith in your abilities. Without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own powers, you cannot be happy or successful. This is very deep. Think about it. Believe in yourself. Have faith in your own abilities. Confidence in your own powers for a power for a successful or happy life. This goes to show that we all have the ability and the power to be happy and successful. Now I've spoken about Kanye and in this quote, I would like us to talk what is self-worth. So self-worth is the internal sense of being good enough and worthy of love and belonging from others. This goes to show that self-worth is internal. You don't need people's validation to feel good about yourself. You don't need um, your achievement and your successes to feel good about yourself. Whoever you think you are is actually who you are. Who knows this gentleman on the screen? Ali. Yeah, this is Muhammad Ali. And he's ranked as the greatest boxer in history, the greatest uh, heavyweight boxer in history. And Ali had this thing he used to see all the time. He said what? I am the greatest. Even before he became the champion, he always said, I am the greatest. And he always moved with such confidence. It was so charming and very charismatic of a boxer. And so this also goes to show that Ali believed he is the greatest and eventually ended up being the greatest heavyweight boxer. Then to bring the bit closer to home, because all these people live in the US, who knows the gentleman? Yes, this is the African giant, Ulua Berna. Berna boy has always, right from the start, believed he is the greatest to do what he does. And right, uh, right now, he just sold out the Madison Square Garden, and we all admit, Berna boy is really good at what he does. So some takeaways from these three personalities and what I've said so far. You are who you think you are. If you think you're a winner, yes, you're a winner. If you think you're brilliant, yes, you're brilliant. If you think you're a loser, I'm sorry, my friend, you're a loser. No one can take your self-worth from you. As I said, it's self-worth. How can you think what I think about myself from me? So always know that you are in control of how you see yourself, how you value yourself. And people's validation do not necessarily have to um, affect how you see yourself. And lastly, you are greater, you are greater than what societal norms depict. What, what if society says you have to get married by 25? What if society says that's how the uh, that's the benchmark for success or for the benchmark for whatever? Forget about what society does. Do what you want to do. Do what you believe you have to do. At the end of the day, things are going to change and you are going to be the new benchmark. So I'm going to leave you with this one line that came to mind just when I was putting it together. And it says, you can be great if only you get away of your own way. That means greatness is in all of us. Everyone here is great, is bound to be great. But then you are the first obstacle. If you get out of your own way, there's nothing to stop you. Thank you very much. Thank you.